Project Hermit. Purpose, to develop an extremely accurate ground control system to guide war-weary pilotless aircraft into pinpoint targets in close support of frontline troops. In preliminary stages, standard radio controlled target planes were used. Specifically, this type of missile was made necessary by the Japanese system of highly fortified cave defenses. Tests were conducted at the Wendover Army Air Base by the Controlled Aircraft Unit of the Equipment Laboratory Wright Field. Accuracy of control was obtained by using two ground control stations. One station was located two miles to one side of the flight path. This was the range station and had radio control of up and down elevator and power settings. A preset approach path was established by tilting the scope three degrees. As the tracking operator keeps the aircraft missile in view, the radio control operator keeps the airplane on the horizontal crosshairs which will intersect the target. The second ground control station was located directly under the flight path and had right and left control of the aircraft, utilizing ailerons and rudders. This site was modified to swing 180 degrees from the horizon and was set up so the vertical crosshairs would intersect the target. The station was three miles from the target. The radio control operator keeps the plane on the vertical crosshairs which had been preset to establish the flight line to the target. The final phase of the Hermit project involved the use of a war-weary B-17 as a ground controlled missile. Remote control equipment in the B-17 consisted of a C-1 autopilot coupled to an RC-64 radio receiver by means of a T-1 remote trim control unit. Preparations were completed for the first pilotless takeoff ever attempted with a four-engine aircraft. In order to minimize hazards, takeoff is made from a practice strip near the main base. Takeoff is controlled from an airplane parked on the edge of the strip. Immediately after takeoff, control is turned over to a B-17 in the air. The control ship guides the missile to the target area and lines it up on the approximate course. The missile is turned over to the ground stations approximately 12 miles from the target. Ground control crews align the missile on the crosshairs and guide it into the target. The plane struck the target at cruising power at a speed of more than 250 miles per hour. The target rock was split by the force of the impact. The only load in the aircraft was 1,200 gallons of gasoline. For safety reasons, the normal load of 20,000 pounds of incendiary or explosive was omitted. Slow motion pictures show details of the crash. The accuracy of ground-controlled missiles has been established. 